Hello, my chariots. Welcome back to my channel. This is the monthly reading for Leos, and this is for December 2020. We are in the holiday season already. So I have my Christmas decorations here, my holiday mug, and I am trying to get in the festive spirit as this 2020 has been such a tough year, it's coming to an end and I'm looking forward to all the positive new things that are going to occur in 2021. So Leo, let's get started. Let's take a look at your energy, your person's energy and the combined energies and then we will close out the reading with a guidance card using the Enchanted Map Oracle. This is a very beautiful deck by Colette Baron reed one of my favorites. And today I'm using the uh, the Gilded Royal uh, Tarot deck um, by Ciro Marchetti, which is very beautifully illustrated. So let's see what we got here. This is for Leo, December 2020. We have the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. We have the Fool and the Eight of Swords for the combined energies. King of Pentacles and the Emperor and on the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Cups, all right? And I am going to also pull some clarifiers from this homemade deck that I made myself. So let's just pull some clarifiers. seeing here. The overall energy of this reading, Leo, is the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups, and it's clarified by the Two of Swords. So, uh, I have a feeling that what needs to be said here is for this overall energy of, of the reading when it comes to this connection, someone needs to make a decision when it comes to their own self-fulfillment. The Nine of Cups is all about complete emotional self-fulfillment. It's one cup away from the Ten of Cups, which is obviously the completion of the cycle. It's that happy emotional feeling. We're dealing with cups here. So this is all about emotions. And we're at the nine of cups. And since the overall energy of this reading is the nine of cups, I have a feeling that the both of you are trying to work out how this connection, how this relationship or partnership, however you want to think about it when it comes to the person that you're thinking about, uh, it's, it's sort of making um, that head versus heart choice, having to, you know, look at being logical versus what you feel in your heart and what truly makes you happy. And underneath the Nine of Cups, we also have this beautiful cup here, the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups to me is just a, a card that really shows uh, the emotion, the water is just everywhere. The water is just pouring out of this cup. You have the moon phases that are here, the cycles, the feelings. Uh, so when it comes to self-fulfillment regarding your emotions, I feel that this connection, you're both looking to find that, that complete happiness. Now on one side, we have here your person, they have 
the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles is pre-Empress energy. Uh, this is, again, all about feeling uh, secure, feeling safe, uh, independence, that fulfillment. So when you see this Nine of Pentacles, this woman, she is just basking in the fruits of her labor. She is live, you know, enjoying the luxury around her. This is someone that is stable, they feel very independent, they can succeed on their own, and they're happy with what they've created for themselves uh, so far. And it's also clarified by the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is a Gemini Cancer uh, energy. It's a mix of the two. And this queen is emotionally stable and she is calm. Uh, she is sensitive. She is empathetic. She is comforting. So this person on this side is feeling very, to me, uh, within themselves. They are very content. They've also been doing a lot of reflection. We have the Four of Swords here, and this is when you take some time um, to go within and uh, think about things. This is clarified by the Ten of Wands. Now, the Ten of Wands is all about burden, workload, uh, like over responsibility this person has a lot going on they're working hard they feel that they were being very responsible they have to take care of things I'm sorry we're having a storm right now and my lights are flickering so if you see that in the background that's what's going on but the ten of wands is also an end of a cycle so this is coming to an end this person has been reflecting um, really thinking about this connection and what uh, what drives them, what brings them that self-fulfillment. And I feel that uh, this has really uh, weighed heavily on them. It's something that they've really spent a lot of time thinking about. Now, on the other side, we have this energy of the fool. So, uh, Leo, this could be you, this fool energy where you are wanting to take this risk, this leap of faith. You have a free spirit. You feel innocent, uh, carefree, and y you're looking at, um, I'm just looking at this fool, how they have him depicted, and he's sort of uh, just juggling all the zodiac signs as if he's juggling them and he doesn't know which one uh, you know, he's going to get, he's going to land on. And then there's this butterfly here at the bottom. There's also the white dog. The dog always represents loyal, um, you know, companionship. The butterfly represents transformation. So I feel that you really want to take this risk, uh, that you see it as a very positive experience when it comes to this connection. It's clarified by the nine of cups, uh, and the Nine of Cups is all about self-love. It's Pisces energy, water energy. So this is, again, the Nine of Cups is all about emotional self-fulfillment. So both of you are in this nine stage of uh, really both uh, reflecting on yourselves and wanting to do what truly makes the both of you happy. And again, we have the Eight of Swords here. The Eight of Swords, you feel that you're you're stuck, and this is going on in your head, in your mind. You're thinking about your current situation and this connection, and you feel that you, there's a way that you don't think you can escape. You can't get out of it, and you've been reflecting on this a lot, but at the same time, it's clarified here by the Four of Wands. This is the 11-11 of card for those of you uh, that feel that... Uh, connection of twin flames if you're involved in that connection but this is a card all about um, celebration it's a fiery energy it's Aries and it's all about uh, harmony and happiness that happy home feeling coming into union so you've really been reflecting on this uh, however you just feel stuck you feel like you're at a point that you're not sure if you're going to be able to get there or not uh, 
the combined energy of the two of you. We have the King of Pentacles and the Emperor. That is some strong energy. Both of you feel like you can stand in this power. Uh, the King of Pentacles is clarified by the Eight of Cups. So you both uh, are willing to walk away. You want to walk towards each other to, to reach that Nine of Cups, that Nine of Pentacles, that you're both showing that self-fulfillment, that self-awareness. And you want this, the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles, he's, uh, yes, he's, Author, you know, he's a man of authority and uh, in control. But uh, the the King of Pentacles is all about security and being stable. They are wealthy, so that means that they are are uh, secure in their finances. They are good providers. So both of you think about you know being in this connection. You both want to be good providers, and you have that feeling that that comforting feeling that this uh, connection, this relationship, this situation makes you feel very safe and very secure. Uh, and being that it's clarified by the Eight of Cups, it shows your inner work. It shows uh, you that both of you are discovering yourselves and who you really are and how you wanna move towards this connection. We also have here the Emperor. It doesn't get any stronger than the emperor. The emperor is the divine masculine. He is the one that stands in his power. He uh, he basically carries the energy of all the four kings. Uh, so he knows what he wants. He knows what he's looking for. And uh, it's clarified by the five of swords. So you both are in this... Uh, energy of you are willing to do no matter what it takes you're standing in this power you want to give it give it your all the five of sword usually represents winning at all costs so you're not backing down uh sometimes you know it is victory that comes with some defeat and that could be why both of you are reflecting and feeling stuck in some ways but uh since we have the number five here it's all about transition uh, transitioning into this whole new reality that makes you feel so powerful. So Leo, that is your reading for the month of December. And we, before we close it out, I am going to get you a guidance card. Oh, and this one flipped over, so I'm going to take it. And it is the number one card. This is the Bone Collector. So let's just take a look here. And for the bone collector, you are whole and have everything you need within. So you're both searching for self-fulfillment in different ways. We have the nine of cups on one side. We have the nine of pentacles on the other. But you're both reaching that point of self-fulfillment where you're happy with yourselves. And once you're happy and fulfilled with yourselves, that's when everything else opens up and it gives you the ability to be happy with others. And then that's when others see you uh, in this brand new light as well. So it says here, when the bone collector appears, she is asking you to look closely at your circumstances to see if you're fully present or reacting out of past conditioning and unconscious expectations. Whenever we're wounded, especially when we're young, it's as if something essential is stolen from us. We adapt and accept a particular version of the truth that then sets us up to behave a certain way in the future when faced with a situation that reminds us of the original event. What we know about ourselves thus becomes influenced by a perception of limitation. You may feel unworthy or without courage. You may see yourself as flawed or unlovable or expect to be criticized. No matter what your question, the Bone Collector reminds you that the truth is that you are a powerful being with limitless possibilities. She has kept safe what was stolen from you in the wounding and is here for you as you reclaim it now. You have everything you believe you lack and the Bone Collector is your inner resource. Act as if you have what you need 
and you'll find you have it after all. Anything is possible. With awareness, the wounds of the past need not define you. So Leo, that is your advice, the bone collector. I'm hoping that whatever has happened in the past, you can release that and let that go and know that you have everything within yourself um, as well as your person. They have everything within themselves. And when you two realize that, I think you can come together and really live in this emperor and king of pentacles energy that you both are showing that you want. So Leo, that was your reading for the month of December. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again soon. Bye.